Good morning, class. So, before we start our discussion for today, let me first introduce myself. My name is May Adela de Gracia, but you can call me Teacher May. Since we've already met before during the orientation, so I am familiar to some of you. Alright, so please stand up everyone and let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Alright, before taking your seat, kindly arrange your chair and I have here a clean sheet of paper. Kindly write your name here and your signature because this will serve as your attendance. Okay? Alright, now let us proceed. In lesson 1, we are going to discuss about informational books. So, what comes to your mind when you hear the word informational books? Any idea? Okay, please stand up. Alright, thank you. So, Miss Marion said that informational books are the kinds of books that gives facts and information. That's great. According to Webster Dictionary, the word informational means to give information. As the word implies, informational books are books of facts. So here, what are informational books? Everyone, please read. Okay, thank you. Informational books are sometimes called non-fiction books are hard to define. The encyclopedias, dictionaries, and the telephone directory are informational. Since informational books are factual books, the author must be well qualified in his particular field. Or if not, then the book should have been given to an expert to check for accuracy. Informational books should be factual and accurate. Unnecessary details are omitted. The writer of informational books always uses specific facts to make his story clear and accurate. Accurate terms should be used in factual writing and explained through the context in the illustrations. The illustrations are not pictures added to the text, but an essential but an essential part of the book. The text and illustration supplement each other. Illustrations should be clearly and labeled. Informational books are more useful if they contain an index, a table of contents, and pronunciation guide. Informational books have a value in the classroom, as well as in the library and home. They are used closely with the new concept of the curriculum. They give the classroom work, enrichment, and activity. Every library should be stocked with a vari variety of informational books. There are excellent dictionaries and encyclopedias for children. There are numerous science books, both about living things in the physical world. These books are not only good re reference books, but are a stimulus for new science interests. There are varied books on geography, history about people, gardens, and etc. There are religious books for children, instructional books to help adults answer where the child questions, and books written chiefly for the pleasure and enjoyment of children. As soon as the child can read, he should have reference books of his own. A child who owns his own dictionary discovers not only the spelling on words, but the wonderful. The Tandai, I know, the Tandike Dictionary, Junior Dictionary Ed, is especially worthy of note and indispensable in school. In school, in libraries, the words are defined by very simple terms. The attractive illustrations contribute to the usefulness of the dictionary. So now, how are informational books different from 
fiction books or story books. So informational books differ from story books because their primary is to convey knowledge. Story books for young children are intended to be read from beginning to end. The primary purpose of story books is to share a narrative that describes char the characters in their actions. These books often have corresponding pictures for children to look at alongside of the text. Informational books tend to have greater variety in their format. Some informational texts include a narrative that conveys information on a specific topic. These types of informational books are usually read from beginning to end, similar to story books. Other informational texts appear in different formats that are not intended for beginning to end reading. Some examples might be an annotated atlas, book of maps with next boxes that highlight animals in, in various vehicles and short descriptions of their functions. Some books written for children cross over the divide between informational text and what is typically thought of as a storybook. These books may include informational text alongside a story narrative or include a glossary section that provides background informational or information about the topic of the text. For example, a story about the ocean might include a glossary that describes different types of sea life such as plants and marine mammals. Here are some suggested books of each type to get you started. So here are the example books with narrative, narratives on a specific topic. Example is On a Beam of Light, a story of Albert Einstein by Jennifer Byrne, illustrated by Vladimir Stradensky. Next one is books not meant for beginning to end, to end reading. Examples, Bone Collection, Animals by Rob Scott Carlson. The last one is the crossover book, a narrative and informational. Example is Over and Under the Snow by Kate Mister, illustrated by Christopher Silas Neal. So, okay class, what time is it? Okay, it's already 9.30, so it's already time. So before we end our discussion, I have here the the printed copy of our module so I'll give it to you for you to study at home and since I'm not around tomorrow so Mom Sheena will, will going to continue our discussion for today about the informational books Hi class my name is Sheena Don Rodalda. I'm, I'm going to be your teacher for today and I'm going to discuss what are some benefits of introducing young children to informational text. So, informational text covers a wide variety of topics. Reading this book can introduce children to a new vocabulary and topics. Some of the topics are trees, insects, household items, and etc. Can be studied firsthand by young children. For example, after reading a book about vacuum cleaner, a, children, a child or a children may count, draw, use, and describe the vacuum cleaner in their home. Informational text can also help children to find answer to their question and deepen their knowledge about familiar topics or introduce new and unfamiliar topics. For example, children in the Philippines can learn about animals in Australia and Africa through an informational text even though they may not be able to visit those places. And 
remember class, it's really important to choose what informational books to share with children. So now I'm gonna discuss how should I choose informational books to share with children. There are several factors to consider when selecting informational books. Consider the age and development stage of children, board, or, or board books with simple text, lift, flop, lift the flop books and with colorful photos or often the first informational text for infant and toddlers, ex exemplary board books or series with or informational text include. Preschooler may seek informational books with simple text and corresponding pictures. They may also enjoy in listening to alphabet books and riddle books about particular topic. However, all young children may be curious to browse through books with higher level higher level of reading while looking at the picture. Teacher can think about curricular goals and choose informational books can be provide can or can provide opportunities about what is going on in children's everyday life. For example, children may be reading about human bodies and discuss healthy behavior and consider the interest of children. For example, children may be interested in books about the weather following snowstorm or about butterflies when they when they're finding a caterpillar in the grass and now i'm going to discuss the importance of informational books informational books supports vocabulary development because informational books contain many sophisticated technical words and explain them explicitly. Reading this kind of books help children to a higher level of vocabulary. So for further discussion, there are some type of books, for example, comic books that was going to discuss by Mr. Losegro. Thank you, Sheena. Good morning, class. By the way, I'm teacher Dennis Losegro, and today I'm going to discuss what these comic books are all about. Before that, please arrange your seats properly, and Thomas, please take your hat because you're inside my classroom. Okay, so a comic book is a publication that consists of comics art in the form of sequential juxtapose that represent individual scenes. Panels are often accompanied by descriptive prose and written narrative, usually a dialogue contained in word balloons emblematic of comic art form. Although comics have some origins in 18th century in Eastern Asia comic books, it's first popularized in United States and the United Kingdom during 1930s. The first, the first modern comic book, famous, funniest, was released in the U.S. in 1933 and was a reprinting of early newspaper humor comics, which had established many of the storytelling devices used in comics. The term comic book derives from American comic book once being a compilation of comic strips of a humorous tone. However, this practice was replaced by featuring stories of all genres, usually not humorous in tone, with an illustration and cover copy that may include the story's title, the largest comic book market in Japan by 1995. The manga market in Japan was valued at 586.4 billion yen or 6 or 7 billion US dollar or 366 billion plus in peso. In Japan, equivalent of 
15 issues per person. In 2020, manga market in Japan reached a new record value of 612.5 billion yen due to a fast growth of digital manga sales. As well as an increase in print sales, the comic book market in the United States and Canada was valued at 1.9 billion in 2016. Beginning with the late 2010s, Manga started massively outselling American comics. As of 2017, the largest comic publisher in the United States, manga distributor Viz Media, followed by the DC Comics and the Marvel Comics. The best selling comic books categories in the US as of 2019 are Juvenile Children's Fiction at 41%, Manga at 28%, Superhero Comics at 10% of the market. Another major comic book market is France, where Franco-Belgian comics and Japanese manga each represent 40% of market followed by the American comics at 10% market share. Famous Funniest is an American comic strip anthology series published from 1934 to 1955, published by Eastern Color Printing. Buck Rogers is the note Jane Arden, Okie Dokes, Keeping Up with the Joneses, Mikey Finn, Invis Invincible Scarlet, O'Neill, and Connie Roy are the main characters of Famous Funnies. There are four elements of comics, which is the panel, balloons, or the speech bubbles, text or caption, and the characters. The panel is the border that wraps around the single moment in a comic. Its job is to contain an illustration that puts forth an idea. The contents of each panel should be a complete thought, but sometimes the thought you need for a panel can fill a paragraph or be as short as a single word. Beyond the contents of a panel, it is a storytelling tool by itself by containing that idea. It is separating that idea from one preview. It is literally a wall that says to the reader, here is a complete idea, read it and move it to the next. Next is the speech balloon or speech bubbles. Speech bubbles are a graphic convention used most commonly in comic books and cartoon to allows words to be understood as representing the speech or thoughts of a given character in the comic. Often, a formal distinction is made between the balloon that indicates thoughts and the one that indicates words spoken aloud. The balloon that conveys thoughts is often referred to as a thought bubble or conversion cloud or, or conversation cloud. The character is one of the attributes or features of that makes up, that makes up the, and distinguish an individual. A character is any animate figure with a story. So, things like plants and non-living objects would not normally be considered as characters. Unless, of course, these things have been personified and brought to life. And there are different types of characters. Like, main characters. Main characters are essential to every story. Main characters are with the most amount of influence on the plot. Or the characters that the plot has the most influence on. Second is the flat character. Flat characters are often described as characters that are two-dimensional, meaning that they lack a real depth or are not super complex nor they don't, they don't show much development throughout the story. Next is the round characters. Round characters can be thought uh, as three-dimensional. These are characters that are realistically and have depth that is identifiable and distinctly human-like. Round characters will show development in ways that engage or as down the, the reader. Next is the protagonist. 
protagonist is always a main character in the story. The protagonist prompts a story, action, and captivates the reader's attention. And the next is the antagonist. Antagonist is directly opposite to the protagonist. The antagonist works against the protagonist and they, they are usually the, the bad guy or girl in the story. Next is the dynamic character. Dynamic character are they like directly connected to the character development and refer to the character who undergoes change within a story. They are characters that the reader watches develop. Most often, the protagonist is a dynamic character. The next is the static character. Unlike dynamic character, a static character is a character who does not change. And static character is often times to an antagonist in the story. They refuse to change their action or the way that they think. They're stuck in their ways. Their purpose is generally to show a contrast to dynamic characters. One of the most and obvious benefits of comic comic books is that they can be more fun and easier to easier to read than the regular books. This can be extremely appealing to young children who would otherwise have little interest in reading. So what is the difference and similarities of informational books to comics? Informational te texts cover a wide variety of topics. Reading those, book, reading those books can introduce children to new vocabulary, concepts, and topics. Some of these topics such as trees, insects, household items can be studied first, first hand by young children. For example, after reading a book about vacuum cleaners, a child may count, draw, and use to describe the vacuum cleaners in their home. Informational texts can also help children to find answers to their questions and deeper their knowledge about familiar topics or introduce new and unfamiliar topics. Just like the informational books, comics also enhance creativity of a child, make their imagination more wide and develop their thinking skills. One of the things that differ them the most is informational books are always based on a truth and facts. While comics are mostly just created by the creative mind of the author and the comic maker or simply a fictional books.